Howdy, it's Tubal Kane again standing before my newly acquired Logan lathe and this was shown in uh, several other videos as I first brought it home. <coughs> but now the objective today is to take it down into the basement. It is still in the garage and it is uh, not a real big machine and it's not attached to the base. It's just sitting there right now on the chip pan but uh, still weighs four or four hundred and fifty pounds. I have a narrow stairs and it's difficult for uh, two, three, four men to, to try to carry something like this. So I am going to disassemble it. I'm going to show you how to do that. This is also a great opportunity to uh, clean things and examine things and uh, correct any little uh, uh, problems that we may have. So I will now disassemble it show you how I'm going to carry it down the stairs. The easiest part to take off, of course, is the tail stock. So just loosen up the clamp and it will slide right off like that and can immediately be carried down. And that reduces the weight by 25 pounds right there. Next comes the gear guard and this pin didn't come out easily so I'm just going to unbolt it. My trusty craftsman. And that's all it took. That weighs about 20 pounds. It's cast iron, not aluminum. Remember that I never did uh, assemble the motor drive unit, so that's ready to carry down right now. Be sure and mark all your bolts, or put them back in the holes, or put them in a baggie marked as such. Next, the lead screw bearing or support comes off. I'll take the collar off first, and I've already loosened that with an Allen wrench. Now when I uh, loosen this, the lead screw is still supported by uh, the carriage, by the apron. came on. I don't know if you can hear me. If there's any washers here or shim washers, make sure you don't lose them. There isn't any in this case. My MO when I'm uh, working on something like this is to put the two bolts back in for safekeeping because they cannot be damaged when I carry this. I put the bearing back on there. If there was any washers, I'd put them on and just snugged up the collar. So that's all ready to go. That's the way I'm going to do it. This, however, does have to come off now in order for it to me to get the uh, uh, apron off. So I'm going to take that off again, and, but I will put it off, on when I carry it uh, to the basement. By the way, most small lathes uh, are constructed in a similar manner to this, uh, Logan. So if you get a South Bend or an Atlas, uh, there isn't much difference here. But the next thing I'm going to do is to take off the apron, that's the lower part of the carriage, and uh, when I do that I'm going to lose the support for the lead screw. So the lead screw is uh, uh, wired up to the bed so it can't drop. It doesn't weigh a whole lot, but I don't want it hanging there uh, from the bearing or whatever supports it in the quick change gearbox. and the whole apron comes right off and boy does that need a good cleaning and this is another testimony of why I preach against cleaning a lathe with compressed air because you know we got chips all up here and there's no way they could have got there unless they were forced up there by air. Can you see now why I uh, hung that with wire? You could support it with uh, wood as well 
or if you got somebody to uh, hang on to it, uh, but I'm working alone here. But otherwise that would really dangle and possibly damage something, who knows. This whole component is called the saddle, and that should slide right off. Now when I uh, put that on the floor, I'll turn it upside down and I'll set it on an old towel or cardboard or something like that. But uh, don't set anything down on a machine surface. And there's the entire assembly, probably weighs 30 pounds, maybe more. My MO is to be very methodical when I do something and uh, I put the uh, two bolts back in their threaded holes for safekeeping and this support is uh, put back on the end of the lead screw and uh, with the collar snugged up and so I know where everything is in case I don't get back to this for weeks or months. Or should I pass away and never get it uh, done? At the auction uh, they will have all the parts. Next I'm going to take off the entire quick change gearbox with the lead screw and including the banjo in these few gears here. So I'll drop uh, those gears out of mesh just by loosening this. Now it's just hanging there. I'll snug it up so it doesn't swing too far. And then I'm ready to take the quick change gearbox off. I changed my method here. Maybe I should have done this in the first place, but I removed that wire that was uh, holding the lead screw and I got a uh, old coffee can supporting it. It happened to be about the right height. So now when I loosen these three bolts, and I've already removed the middle one, uh, since I'm working alone here and all the weight is on this end, I'm going to try to support this and catch it as the last bolt comes out. How many of you out there miss a real tin can like these uh, coffee cans? You know, they're all plastic now and they're about uh, useless because they become brittle when you put tons of bolts in them. But there sets the quick change gearbox, lead screw and all. And I will turn that upside down at some point and, uh, and clean it. I hope there's not too many chips in those gears. The machine is really stripped down now and I'll take off Next, the single most heavy component, and that is the entire headstock, gears and all. It's kind of dark down on this end, so I'm using my little uh, trouble light. You know, I bought this thing at a garage sale for three bucks the other day. I kind of like it. I know it's made over the pond, and it probably won't last long. But, you know, maybe at Harbor Freight, this thing only costs two fifty with a coupon, but anyway, it works perfectly. So the headstock is held on by clamps underneath, similar to the way the tailstock is held on. There's one here and then one on the other side that you can't see. So I'm going to loosen those bolts up and uh, be able to slide the entire headstock off. Now before I do that, at some place along the bed I will mark with layout die exactly the position of this. I suppose it'll be stained and obvious, but just in case, because I want to reassemble everything exactly as I took it apart. And remember that the ways on the bed perfectly align the headstock with the tailstock with the carriage, so I will have no misalignment uh, regarding that. Well, I was incorrect when I said loosen up these clamps and it'll slide right off. And it did take me, I had took the clamps off, there's two of them. They're really hard to get at, 5 eighths bolts. But anyway, this will not slide off because there's a gear in there, one of the back gears, so it will have to be lifted straight up. 
unfortunately, I don't think that weighs as much as what I thought it would. And we got a lot of chips in there, don't we? See all the chips that were forced in there by compressed air? Quite a large quantity. That's a good opportunity to clean it. The entire headstock, I don't believe, weighs even uh, 50 pounds, more like 40, I'm guessing. But you can see the big back gear here that uh, extends down below the, uh, the headstock and uh, disallowed me of sliding it off. That's why I had to lift it up, but that was really no big deal. Just a little different construction than what I expected because I didn't look down in there with a flashlight. There it is, the bed of the lathe, which is the foundation of every lathe, regardless of race, creed, or color. And it's about four foot long. I just uh, hefted it a little bit, and I'm estimating it at about 200 pounds. So two strong guys could carry this down the stairs after it's all cleaned. To reduce the weight even uh, further, the uh, legs or feet, I guess you would call these, even though this is a table model, could be removed, but I don't think that would take that much weight off, and I'm, I don't intend to do that. I have an eight-foot piece of inch and a quarter galvanized water pipe laying down in the bed, and uh, what my uh, plans are is to uh, run a couple bolts through the pipe. I've got to drill some holes in, uh, into the casting and then two men can easily carry this down because you got a handle and the whole idea is you need a handle and I have uh, moved other machines in this manner and this is the way Hemingway's porters carried those uh, uh, wild game trophies out of uh, deepest darkest African Congo I once carried a 13-inch uh, South Bend lathe bed, and you talk about a heavy casting because it was a lot longer than this, and I used a, a pipe that was uh, larger or a tubing. I forgot what it was, but I, I think the tubing was about 12 foot long, and I could put three men on each end, and I had the stairway propped up because it's a wooden stairway, and it went, it wasn't easy, but it went uh, right down, and one person is not in the way of the other when you do this, because you got two people on, on each end, or, or three, or whatever you need. In this case, it'll just take one. So I'll get my, uh, my strong son-in-law and maybe a, a neighbor, although most of my neighbors are older than I, but uh, this will move very easily. Well, there it is. It took me less than 10 minutes to uh, drill the holes in the pipe, and in that soft gray iron and now I've got a handle on things. Now take a look at this. That is going to be so easy to handle down the stairs. You purists do not contact me about drilling two small holes. Those are five sixteenths bolts.